Right. Unboxing of a year and a half so the COVID shit that I took L's on that the boys helped me out on. Plus a couple of bits that I popped and just had sent not sent here. Shipping costs and shit. Thanks to Seb for sorting the thing out. And I'll thank the individuals when I get to those pairs. It's been a long time. Set. Right, I'm going to make a pile. I'm going to make a pile and then I'm going to get rid of all of this. This morning. Go through these one by one. Sit down here like a hippie and go through them one by one. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the dark mocha, bottom one again, thanks to Seb, the man himself, the man, the myth. So laces will go straight in. No chance I'm wearing these with black laces. Nice addition to the Jordan 1 collection. Lovely pair. As they said, the leather's a bit flat. And the toe box leather's definitely a bit flat, but these will fucking do. Most certainly, brothers will fucking do. Right. Oh, yeah. Nice little poor man's, poor man's Travis Scott. You can make that joke when you've got the Travis Scott's. It's all right. Right, get that fucker out of the way. Now, again, thank you to Seb, yeah, who sorted these out from Offspring with a discount code. Fucking legend, mate. They didn't drop over here, it's Europe only, so I would have had to pay StockX fees and fuck ton of shipping costs and everything else and your boys got them to me under retail so that's pretty sick all this new Jordan 3 wrapping paper stuff that they're doing looks good the boy Louise did warn me that this pair the Q 
QC wasn't the best. The boy over at Jordan 3 Gallery he said that the the, the midsole painting wasn't great, but let me quickly pull this other one out before I say this. But this looks pretty decent. There's a bit of glue on here, but that's pretty good. The leather's kind of stiff-ish. But these look, these will go, these will work. This is a nice, like, you know me, I'm not a hugest fan of black shoes. I'm the biggest fan, but I do like to have the better ones I feel like that come out. This really dark, randomly dark elephant print that they used, it's pretty nice. Um, and then they've got the double stitch tongue. So I'm gonna get some shots down the line with these and the UNCs next to each other because of the, um, the double stitch buddies and I really like the grey um, bottom half of the tongue and the two eye, eye stay areas that they did on this which is basically like the the fire red um, and the racer blues that are coming out in a few weeks uh, there's something about that um, that blocking on the front that I really like um, and this I guess this hair goes to show that it works on the three on the on the darker pairs as well as the light pairs. Not I'm saying. And then there's the booty. Right, these are nice. I knew I was gonna like these. Um the only hesitation was, you know, Louise's point about the about the paint job being a bit dodgy on his. Um I feel like with the threes, like the three fans are getting becoming more of fans of threes, and then the the ones or fours or GTFO type of gang still don't give a fuck. So it is what it is. Um, until they start dropping a fucking ton of, cut of collabs on threes, people are going to stay not giving a shit. Um, but yeah, that's just what it is. Alright, now, third pair. Try not to do this too quickly because I've been looking forward to this for fucking ages. This is a pair I bought for Giza on. Um, on Facebook, um, on the A6 Addicts um, page, um, for I want to say it was around, if not under retail, um, and had these these bad boys shipped out to Big Tone, um, who held them and told me he was going to leave them in the sunlight in his backyard for a year because uh, they infamously bleed, um, and lots of pairs have kind of lost their colour. Um, Matesh has been um, championing this pair, um, the Hanon Solstice um, Gel Light 3. He's just put his laces in stupid tight, so I'll be redoing those. I'll be relacing those puppies, but these are fucking nice. These are just as nice as I thought they'd be in hand. Um, I'm going to show you guys close up. These are really fucking nice. Typically nice suede on, on anything that isn't um, Nike. So you got the hand on fire there. And then one of my favorite silhouettes of Jar Light 3. I don't know if you can see the suede. These are pretty fucking nice. And then they've got the, the little hand on sign on the, on the end of the laces. On the lace tips. And then on the pack. You've got three sets of spare laces, flat blues, um, flat purples with the little, I think, 3M hits, and then flat blues with the little 3M hits, and then they've just got the solid whites, which come in here. I think, given a white uh, midsole, I'm probably gonna stick with the white laces, because I do like to match my laces with my, my midsole. Having said that, I feel like this purple, as long as out of the bag, it matches with the with the mudguard color, I think that could be a hitter too. So, I mean, we'll see. Well, a couple of times with the white, a couple of times with the, um, with the purple, and we'll just see what, what kind of looks good on feet. What makes me a happy camper. All right, trying to belt, belt through these so that I don't take up too much time. Oh, and uh, all the original like, paperwork and shit, yeah. So I know I've not caught something a little bit iffy. 
Right, this is going to get saved till last because, uh, quite frankly, they're fucking amazing. So I'm just going to save that Deodora box till the end. So this this box, big thanks to Jamie. Um, I think you guys know what this is. Um, came from Offspring. Fucking COVID's been so long; these boxes are fucking dusty. Um, UK 11 JPL at JPL Brooks. So Offspring have put my handle on the box. Make sure nothing gets fucked up. With the uh, on delivery on drop day, I'm gonna pull that off because that's a bit of an eyesore. But right in the meantime, open this puppy up. So we've got the the fragment, um, the fragment paper. I'm already seeing a little bit of the old dreaded um, discoloration on the back, even in the box. You've got the fragment paper there. There's the one downside with this pair, the, the, the back, the discoloration on the back is a bit of a, a bit of a problem with this pair. I'm definitely going to see what I can do over time because yeah, the, there's definitely like you can see the discoloration on the back already. Um, it's actually not that bad. I think in specific light, it looks it looks a lot worse in specific light. Um, but I think over time you can either age the shoe or um, take the take basically take them to a. Um, a customizer, take the back off, deoxidize, and redo them with a better glue that doesn't do this. But that's a bit, it's a bit extra. Um, for the meantime, from a distance, don't think you can really tell. Um, so I'm not like pressed, pressed to do it. Um, just a shame when you get like what could have been such an iconic pair um, that they kind of dropped the ball a little bit like that, you know. So it's a couple of little hits, a frag stamp. Uh, it's really quite nice, like flat flat leather, but a nice frag stamp. And then the fragment at the back here. Um, much very much kind of one of the slimmer pairs recently um they've all looked good and they've all been very slim down yeah that back there that's gonna annoy me that back tab which is re also really weird in that it's not the only translucent back tab they've done on threes and If I pull this out, look at that. Let me get one that's the same side. Just sit back together. No zero discoloration here. This is kind of yellow. Kind of yellowish, which would be fine if if they went with a bit more of a kind of vintage vibe on the rest of the shoe. The problem is they're clean as fuck. Like the rest of it, look at that top down view, clean as fuck. Everything else about it, super super clean. And then the back tab's just a bit yellowy, a bit piss yellow. But I mean, shows the technology can work. There's not a fucking single mark on the back here. Yeah, what it is. Right, so this is these guys. I'm gonna bring a couple of these back and create a, a little ledge to get a bit closer. All right, now this next pair, big shout to Brian in the, in the crew, the, the Cop King. Um, 
who sent these across, I think he said he managed to cop on a random um, executive access on sneakers and you blessed your boy up with, let's see, with a retail pair of the Hyper Royals. I think, I want to say, this is probably my favorite Jordan 1 of 2021, or at least it was based on pictures. Um, pretty much everything I've seen, oh yeah, that's nice, this gray, this like gray up here is really nice. Um, everything I've seen in terms of reviews and in terms of people's comments on them is exactly what I'm looking at now. I'm like, it makes total sense. Super vintage, um, really nice kind of, um, turbo green vibes to them. Um, I mean, there's the cousins next to each other, similar kind of vibe to the, um, to the, the kind of Chicago color element. Let me see this. I, this for me is just still one of my favorite J's in years, but more vintage outsole on here, similar color with the swoosh, so not really a Chicago block, but that kind of almost like a dirty, um, kind of ashy kind of vibe to them. It's similar. They did change it up a little bit with these. These spare laces are just fucking goofy. I don't know. I don't know who. who Agreed to put this here, but they should be fired. Um, I would have put gray this color in here and the sack the geezer that, that made this call. But I mean, either way, they I'm sure there's another pair that these can go in. Um, show you a little booty shot. Um, a couple of differences, as I said, a um, bit more vintage looking sole here, both gray on the on the bottom. They kept this on cream and then they, they went gray here. Um, pretty cool. And then the biggest difference, you know, the, these ones have the like poor man's off white. I mean, I, I think this is better than pretty much it, better looking than any fucking off white, off shite pair, but they've clearly stolen Virgil's drip with this, um, with this thing here. Yeah, these are just, these are nice. This is exactly, exactly what I thought I'd be unboxing today. So no surprises. And I think across these, in combination with these puppies, these are yet to be worn. It's just too fucking hot to wear. Thick leather high, so uh, high tops at the moment in the TX. It's fucking 37 degrees every single goddamn day. I'm like sweating ball sacks with no shoes on, let alone wearing high tops around here. So. Give me a couple more weeks, uh, maybe a month or so, and these will get undiest as well. But very nice, like I said earlier, gray spares. If these don't go in here, do they match? No, they don't match. Too light, so they're not going in there. But, I mean, either way, I, for me, these are the best two Jordan 1s this year so far. Um, this is, I, just, I don't know, I just really, really like light summery and spring summer vibes to my Jordan 1s these days. So. So that's that. Get this fucker out of the way. Quick little QC check over them. Because you know JB. If you don't check, not that I'm really going to be able to do anything about it, but. And also the, the, the slightly darker blue stitching on these puppies. Also quite a nice little touch there. Right. Next pair, I'm not sure I'm gonna, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with these. This was a dub. This is a win of a pair of a silhouette 
I do not wear, um, mainly because I'm a size 12 and Jordan 6s are generally huge. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with these. Um, I had to see them in hand um, before making a decision. Also, the retail was really high on them. So even less kind of inclined to know what to do with them. I don't know, I just I feel in a size to these look like goddamn boats. They look like absolute Yep. They look like absolute boats. I love the colour. This um this olive colour and the with the kind of infrared hits. Super dope. If this was a three or a four, or even a one, um no questions asked. No questions asked. This is this probably would have been one of my favorite J's of last year. Um, given that it's a six, which I have owned a pair in the past, sold them, they were uncomfortable as fuck. Um, and then you add on top of that, the fact that it's already bulky and then they put this pocket, which makes it even bigger. I don't know, they're cool. They're cool. Um, I don't know, I just don't think I'd ever wear this, but either way, it's still good to have the option to either rock them, do whatever. Um, yeah, so that's that. Put my knees going. Right, down there. But I'll see. Because um, it's a six, it's not really been too much at the forefront of my mind, so I haven't really, really had to think about what I'm going to do with them. Uh, here's what it is, and then, oh, so Alex sent by, down by Tarek, a spare um, burgundy laces, burgundy boys, spare laces for the Saturday specials, which I copped mine for eBay and they didn't come with any. I have the whites in, um, I really wanted to try them with these, so shout out to both of you guys. And then the piece de resistance. That's the last box. Again, Alex. Um, this is Alex's pair. She sold to Ben in G1, and then he sold to me. Um, pair I don't think I ever thought that I would actually own, ever. Um, it would say a little bit of paint cracking on the midsole. But it's, I mean, it's all good. I smell another geezer's foot. There's certain pairs where you kind of have to I'm just never gonna, ever gonna buy this this kind of shoe DS because um, of the cost. So I guess you you kind of have to take what you can get sometimes um, with these things. These are fucking beautiful. You got the bandana, bunch of spare laces. Looks like a couple of them have been tried in the past. I think I'm likely gonna stick with the ones that are in here. Um, yeah, I think that will be it. Close this down. Running at 23 minutes. Yeah, I'll, get a, I'll get a move on. And then all the rest of the stuff is just in here. The paper. Um, tote bag. Everything else. Um, backpack. Everything else that comes with them. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll have a proper proper look through um, and find I think there's this uh, insoles maybe maybe they did maybe they didn't come with the spare insoles I don't know stupid I didn't I didn't remember to ask but I mean either way I'll check through everything yeah that's that's everything um you a quick close up of a couple of deets on the castellas Editions. You've got the um, the famous kind of minty, almost minty green. These are the laces I mentioned that I'm probably going to keep in there. And then you've got the kind of Castella um, print, the insoles, this army, all of the Spanish guys, um, and then like as you would expect, the leathers. <sighs> Typically ridiculous um, quality. Yeah, and the, the mesh, everything, great. Right. 
Right, I'm gonna go to the gym. Um, let me try these puppies on first, just to make sure, because Ben said they did, they did fit them a bit tight. But yeah, that's my video, 25 minutes. I've rattled on long enough already. So peace, see you guys there.